Are you nervous? Like, I'm nervous? No. Getting ready for our second performance here at the uh, Fringe Festival. Fringe Festival. Fringe Festival 2012. Music Box Fringe. We got the shirts on. We got the people. Ryan, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. High five. Ready to rock and roll today? Good. Alright, we're doing it! Oh, we're casting. We're casting. Yeah, it's fun. Wes. Wes Harvey. Oh, yeah. Um, one, two, two, three. Let me, um, I have a counter tenor. My yeah. range is actually all the way up to the high G, two Gs above. So, now, can you just do, I just want to hear, just saying, uh, <laughs> yeah, just play Okay. Mm-hmm. And you can rotate the camera. So, okay, we're going to we're going to have this girl in and we're gonna have her dance for us. What we need to do is we need to we need to finalize some of our dates as soon as we can when we do. And right. then write that out. Again, write kind of a statement for the for the documentary what it's about and then approach I think schools and students. Yeah. Because that's the only way we're gonna get it done within our budget. Really. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're not gonna have lights like no. you want it at the tech rehearsal. Right. That's, so, we, tech you need to... For photo, the tech rehearsal right. is great for photo shoots. Yes. And I, I mean, again, I don't know what their stipulations are on the, you can't record, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it sounded like they were very strict on photos, but recording, maybe we yeah. can slide. I think, I really think it's a question of budget. I really think we need to, I think Ella and I need to look at the budget again. Yeah. Um, and we can need to gauge what we can do from there. Uh, payments. Get more use. I think we should design the set we want, and then we should start from the essentials and work our way towards it. Yeah. Which you know, involves the set design and just having him on board with the variable. I do remember the documentary. I'm going to make you, do you know what I'm going to make you? And super, like, and do this for our show. This is a different show. Okay. And then give them to you, and then you can go scene by scene and go, this is where it's being played. I'm, good, I'm, good. I'm here to help you. That's true. Storage time. Yeah. If it's got to get through a, a, through a human-sized door, then we can store it here. Clearly. We can store it here. We have space in the living room. We have space in the living room. Show them, show them that living room. That's our casting living room. Casting living room. I just, like, it scares me that they're not even going to see the show until possibly two days before we open, and I have no idea when I'm going to get those cues. I mean, are you worried about sound cues, or are you worried about lighting cues? No, maybe? it's all lighting cues. All lighting cues. Having that one extra run gives me that one more time to be familiar with the show, be familiar enough with the show mm -hmm. in order to go in and call it correctly. Okay. We supply the lighting designer, you supply the stage manager. French hires a professional lighting designer for every venue. Someone who knows the space, the plot, and how to finish a tech rehearsal in three hours. Need, what we need to do in our end, we need to design PR projects. Mm -hmm. And we also need to design a schematic for documentary. Mm -hmm. Event, which is happening, photo shoot deadline is the 12th, so we want to get into the costume shop, I mean, really between the 1st and 12th of May and the 2nd of May. Right. Oh, that's right. So do we want to write a list of what we need to do? Yes. Out of all my notes that are... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... What, what, what we have to accomplish. Yes. Uh, PR projects. We need to get dates mm -hmm. to do the photo shoot. And then also... Huh? Along with this is hiring the document. That's good. We talk, when obviously we have a, an accompanist slash conductor, and we mentioned the possibility of the four strings in the French horn. I'll send you one with a balcony and I oh, can cool. you can see Cool. Um, and I think the only other thing is to make sure that we, there are the paperwork deadlines in the actual book, but the unnecessary contact, or that those unnecessary questions that really aren't dealing with the artistic side, but mm -hmm. more of the 
when's the schedule? Hey, I have this conflict. Mm -hmm. Having having the binder, and by the end of the product, I mean, I'll have my calling script in there. I'll have all of my paperwork. Um, I mean, even in like my rehearsal, I like keeping. This was our first meeting's agenda. This is all my notes I took during our first meeting, and then this is the time to grab it. Like, <laughs> you can't because you don't have this. Right. You know? Um, like, Stuart had has three different phone numbers that we can reach him by, but I love the rehearsal process. Oh my gosh. That's my favorite. That's yeah. actually, uh, that's my favorite. Cool. Well, nothing is going to go to the wayside. Everything is going to be collected. You know what, Bill, I think I like all these images right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so then we'll just move on. Those will all go up to the job. Oh, okay. Do you like? <laughs> mm. I like that mm. one. Mm. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That little bit of the kind of wave in her hair looks really yeah, good yeah. too. Really nice. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's just a little bit. This is enough style, like style-wise, that you get the idea that it's in the 20s. Interesting. It does. I mean, like, it stinks the place up. Yeah, that's correct. Now, along with that, so this is the official submission of the art for the Fringe Fest. Are there other instances where you're going to want to have um, the poster in a different size, larger, or, um, yeah? And what? Get to that moment where it's all thin and then it's just really small. Yeah, I think that would be kind of like this. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> and lean into Rebecca a little bit. There we go, a little bit more. Your head separates from hers just a fraction. That's, this is called fudging it for the camera. You just need to see your heads forward a couple of inches. Okay. Okay. Because we're getting a little bit of flash from the, the back of the crowd right. shining on your faces. I can't think we remember when I was that young. Let's see, you can get it later. <laughs> Back row, can you all move about three inches in that direction? Keep going. Me. I'm the pretty one. We <laughs> 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 got some good shots there. Come look. You're the whole mess. Oh, there we go. Let's see the close up. Mm -hmm. Emma. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. And very slowly now, take the hat, turning it to the head. Looking at me back right there. Now I'm going to smile. Chin back over this way. Big T. <laughs> nice job, buddy. You get to hold the expensive meter. Don't burr, don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I promise I won't, I won't try to eat it, Robert. <laughs> Always warning modest. Do not pick that up and put it in your mouth. You don't know where it's been. <laughs> What's been the hardest obstacle thus far in writing the show? In writing the show? 
or producing the show and being or a part of the in, show and creating the show. Yes. <laughs> sacrificing a lot of time with friends and sacrificing opportunities that seemed like it would stand in the way of working on a show that you and a handful of people are the only one that believes in it. And when only you and a handful of people believe in a project and you're willing to sacrifice so much for it and so much time, it gets to the point where you start thinking to yourself, am I actually, in fact, insane? <laughs> and also, and when you're tied next to someone who's willing to sacrifice as much as you are, you have no choice but to continue. <laughs> and that's what has kept the project going. Okay. Maybe we could get, we could put up small cabaret shows. Mm -hmm. It's true. The whole point was to get an audience to come to the French. That was the point. It's something you didn't ask for. And you can choose to look at it as a gift or as a burden. But knowing that either way, it doesn't matter. Because you can't stop. Who in the right mind would, would turn down so many opportunities just to go home and work on the show? Who would go home on a Friday night and work on a script for a show that's never been produced and hasn't had any interest from any producers? Right. And who's, who's, you know... <laughs> it, it just seems like a project, you know. Who, who in the right mind would move home from a, from a well-paying job and live in the basement and write a musical with their parents? You know, it's <laughs> it's that sort of thing that makes you say, okay, wait a minute, oh, 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 I understand what's going on here. I'm crazy. <laughs> People look at the script or they read it for the first time and they think this is a joke, mm -hmm. and they don't. And and the reason is is because it's that cynical side of our nature that doesn't allow us to tap into what's underneath it. And, and I think that that was the biggest challenge for the actors all the way through the process was that it was letting the guard down. Because in my opinion, the show is designed for that reason. It's, it's a hard show and it doesn't seem like it is initially, but it is because it forces you to not act, but to actually live. It makes you vulnerable, I think. And that is the beauty of the script, or the beauty of the story, and, and that's also the hard thing about the story, right? And I think that they all got there. It's just a tragic fairy tale out as friends who just pretend one stands alone and the other in between their eyes wet and foolishly they smile challenging and really fun to add that dimension of 
it's not just going two directions between you and your actor, but there's a third, a third direction that you have to be focusing your energy out towards the audience. And, and figuring out how you, can, how you can make it mean the most for them. So I always get reminded of that when I see the theater for the first time and I think, yeah, <laughs> this is for them. I need the vocal when you come in. Let's just okay. record the piano. So I can, can you actually can I, start from like... Can we just sing it in here? Why don't we... Yeah, yeah. sing it in here. You don't need That'd to do all perfect. that. Yeah, it's That'd all good. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sing it in here. Yeah, yeah. sing it in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Party. It's like me. Yeah. Music bar. Yeah. Yeah. Music bar. Yeah. 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 Yeah.